Okay guys, welcome back to Trini Bourne American Meal and uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas season or Christmas I should say. So to those of you who I did not get to wish Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas guys and all the best for the new year. It is the 30th of December and we are just one day away from being the end of the year, the final day of the year and the final day of the decade so Christmas um, I prepared a lot of dishes I'm gonna try to go through and you know prepare one by one some of the things back for you guys a recap um, that video is still uploading actually um, but there's one thing that really struck me that I did not think I would have liked and it's not a Trini dish and I end up actually liking it and that is this guy there, colored greens. So the first time I tasted this thing, it was like nice in the beginning and it had like a serious bitter finish at the end. I was like, oh no, never me again, never eating this thing. But my husband taught me the other day uh, for Christmas day, how to cook it. And I really was crap under pressure. I just did what I thought, you know, could have been the best. And I didn't taste it until Boxing Day, which was the day after Christmas. And it was absolutely amazing. So in my opinion, guys, those of you who don't know what color greens is, never taste the color greens in your whole entire whatever grown life. Color greens to me is just as similar in flavor to what we call back home as bhaji. So today, with that bhaji thought in mind, I am going to prepare somewhat baji rice and salt fish all right so stay tuned guys stick with us and i am hoping that you enjoy this video don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and share with your friends okay so to begin i have here a pound of salt fish and all i did is just boil some water if you see my videos before just boil water i don't boil the salt fish you just boil the water pour the water over the salt fish to rinse out the salt salt out of the salt fish and you know my daughter said it still had a kind of uh, smell so we squeeze a lime in there and just let it sit just like you would season any meat then i have rice this is just about a cup of rice parboiled rice um it's the last of the parboil for 2019 yes <laughs> so that's why i'm using it i'm good for that because I got me a big bag of basmati now. Uh, so just that. I have a cup of coconut milk. I have like a, let's say about a cup and a half here. It's so much of this colored greens. Um, one large tomato, one small, uh, yes, yeah, small onion, one medium yellow bell pepper, a couple of cloves of, of garlic. Um, I like lots of garlic in my food. It's packed with antioxidants and a lot of fighting benefits. Don't don't claim me on this, but that's what they say. So I like a lot of this. And then I just have like a couple um, tablespoons of cooking oil here to start. All right. So let's get into this, guys. So to begin, I have my pot already on low. Eating, so I'm just gonna pour the oil in and you know the oil the pot is hot because the oil already start you know removing itself from the sides of the pan okay. so I want to gently coat my pan and this is a large saute pan and I use it like this and more wide because I want to be able to cook everything dish um, evenly um, Especially knowing I'm going to cook the rice in here too. I'm going to cover it down and kind of let it steam. So I don't want to cook everything too fast. Alright, so in goes the garlic. I'm going to raise the heat just a little bit. To medium, to low. see and smell all the sizzling so if 
you wondering exactly how much garlic is this this is about um, three or four well big garlic well like really it was the largest out of all the garlics in the head so just wanted to chop up the most of it I like garlic a lot all right now onion and as I said this is just one small onion chopped in cubes I'm gonna put some fine thyme in there and I'm gonna just remove it from the stem you know most of the leaves from the stem there if you wish you could leave the stem in there I just don't want to go through the extra process and I'm just gonna let this cook down until it start caramelizing okay and don't rush the cooking this is how I did it the last time so <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys again don't rush it okay slow cook your colored greens and your onions and your garlic and all the flavorings that need to go with it I think by slow cooking it that's what brings out more of the flavor so y'all don't rush the cooking process just let it simmer let it take its time and do its thing okay and we get back to the process when it's changed okay guys so and slowly sweating your veg what you tend to do is kind of like really bring out the best of flavors from each um, vegetable in your in your oils and um, that's the most important reason why I want to concentrate on slowly sweating out the oils out of the garlic and the onion because I really want that uh, color greens to have that nice garlic and onion finish to it okay so we're back and it is been a little while been cooking and it kind of turned translucent to some starting to turn a little caramel you know you don't want it to turn too caramel at all because they have a long way to go again um with the rest of the dish okay so i want to add the not all of the tomatoes because I want to save some of the tomatoes for the end. So just about half of the tomatoes I want to add in now. color greens and it's kind of frozen so just crumbling it up so it can cook properly and that's another thing this is this is from the frozen pack um which is a young ah. kind of uh colored ah. green leaves it's not the real hard mature ones i want to say um so maybe that's why it tastes a little better also so if you're looking into it and you really want to you know ensure that your colored greens comes out tasty all the time I suggest you get the young colored greens all the time and not the more mature ones. See how pretty that looks already, guys. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I can eat this already. So just want to raise the temperature just a little bit so the coldness out of the colored greens can kind of get to sweat with the tomatoes 
And in that meantime, we're gonna to start to add in the pieces of salt fish. So to this, I'm gonna add the coconut milk. And you could do fresh coconut milk, blended, or you could do the one from the can. This one is a powder that I mixed in just a cup of water and that was just about it. All right, and I'm gonna add some water extra to this because I wanna have the coconut flavor. See, wanna have the coconut flavor in here and, but I also want the rice to cook, right? So I'll put enough water to cover all the grains of rice so it could really swell and get cooked. And also I'm gonna get my stove to low. As I said, we're not cooking this fast. I'm gonna add in the extra bell peppers. This is going to be very colorful. And that's all the I'm gonna put some more of that garam masala. lovely okay guys so this is your finished product see how beautiful it is yeah and I'm gonna place it out right now
See that, guys? Mmm, yummy. Just yummy. Okay, guys, so thanks again for watching. And do not forget to click that like and subscribe button if you really like this meal and this recipe. Okay, guys? And see you again. Happy New Year! All the best of 2020. Bye.